stuff, so. In any case, hey guys, what's going on? Um, so, I was on E46 Fanatics uh, forum, and uh, I just uh, ran into a thread. Well, I actually ran into it this afternoon, but uh, it's about uh, dash cams, and uh, I should have one. And uh, it was a pain uh, for me, because actually I didn't know anybody that did it, so I have it set up in my car. I figured I'd take my laptop out. Oh, I just got my new rims and my new mirrors. They're not new, but I had to program them to do that. So I got a couple of things done, or I did them rather, at home. But one of the things that I did was um, I got a dash cam because, uh, I don't know, sometimes people drive like scumbags and uh, so I figured if I had it, um, it would be good. The thing is, I don't know if uh, this GoPro is going to adjust properly to the lighting in here, so I don't know how good I'm going to be able to shoot this. Maybe I'll be able to see it, I hope, yeah. Okay, well, so what's, uh, there's a, there's a channel on YouTube, I'll, I'll put it in my, uh, I'll put it, I'll put the link of the, of the channel that I'm referring to in my post, but, uh, it's pretty much a guy that he, he reviews a bunch of, um, he reviews a bunch of, uh, dash cams, and, uh, he's pretty good, so that's where I first saw this camera. I actually have two of them, but, uh, so, I, you know, I'm gonna stop talking, I'll just show you what I have. Um, so what I did was, w well, what, what the guy, the reason why I brought up the, the YouTube channel is he, he talks about like usually just mounting it here and just leaving it. And, um, I mean, I'm really, that's, I guess you could do that, but I'm not really a big fan because I don't like things sticking out other than I have my V1 up here and that's, you know, and my Easy Pass. So I already think it's kind of cluttered. So I wouldn't want to have anything else, you know, there. So what I did was, uh, I ordered, uh, this camera, it's, I think it's called a Mobius, um, and uh, it was like $80, really good, and so what I did was, I took it, and I mounted it in here, hang on a minute, let me see if I can take this off, and like, record it properly, so what I did was, I took it off, and um, let's see if I can get this thing off, So what I did was um, I mounted uh, the camera itself here using some Velcro, um, and um, I tapped into the power. What did I tap into the power? I forget. But I tapped uh, I tapped into uh, the power. Actually, the same place I tapped into it for the radar. I think that was um, it's somewhere where like it it's somewhere where. As soon as you put uh, the key into uh, auxiliary mode or uh, accessory mode, or um, you know when you turn a car on, that line gets power. So as soon as the car turns on, uh, this will start charging, and and, if, and and once it turns on, it'll you know it'll start recording because uh, that's what the like, dash cams do, right? Uh, in any case, so what I did was instead of uh, actually I have another one, just give me one second. Let me go, let me go find the other one. So maybe I can even show you. My trunk's gonna be a mess, but uh, yeah, whatever. There it is. Okay, so um, when you get the camera, cause I have two of them. This is my uh, second one with all this cable and stuff like that. Okay, so. When you get the camera itself, this is what you get. Um, get help, but uh, this is what you get. And so, what they want you to do is they you could just get some kind of a mount and just pop it up there like that, or wherever you want to put it. But I didn't like that too much. So, um, what I did was uh, you could also buy um, either either a fisheye lens or I don't know, like a 120 degree lens or something like that. I forget what it is, but you could buy a separate lens and then an extension for it. So what you do is you just take out these two screws, uh, prop it open, and uh, extend it. And that's exactly what I did here. Uh, if you see that, uh, if 
you can see that black cable there. That's for the lens. So what I did is I ran the, the cable for the lens um, through the top, through the um, through the mirror thing here, right there. See that? Underneath it, or rather over it, and uh, I mounted the lens back here. Now, I don't know how well you can see it. Um, maybe if I like this from like outside or something. I don't know. But yeah, there it is. And uh, so this is you know, my, my easy pass is up here. But that is where the lens is. And uh, I just uh, used. Um, I think it's called Suguru, and uh, it's pretty much it's like clay, and uh, you you set it up the way you want it. You put the you know the clay-like thing on it, and you let it sit overnight, and uh, you know it's solid. So you know that's not that's not going anywhere. The best part is when I'm sitting and driving. Um, you know, it's not it's not in my way. Like you, I don't know that it's there. You don't see it. It's not obstructing uh, my vision at all. So I thought that was pretty cool. And the best part is, um, you know, God forbid anything happens. Um, you know, you don't need to dig too deep to get anything. All you need is this memory stick right here. Right, take that out. See, this is why I have long ones. Because if I didn't have long ones. But in any case, um, that's why I brought the laptop out also. Let's see, maybe I might have some footage. Um, it's in this pocket. There it is, okay. I usually have one of these adapters sitting in my car because I have this uh, Dynav in it, so sometimes when I up, when I, when I, update my music and stuff, I just take the micro SD, put it in the adapter, put it in the laptop, and it works out pretty good. So let's see, I don't know if the GoPro again is going to adjust to the um, thing here, but let's see, adjust to the screen. Uh, I think it's doing a lot of Just uh, do this. And, uh, do yeah, I know I suck at making videos. Sorry about that. Um, but so okay, so these are the clips that I. I think it's like uh, like I only have like a four gig card recording. So this is. Okay, this obviously wasn't today because this is the other side of my house. I mean, the other side of the house. But see, uh, this is. I don't even know what this is. This is uh, yeah, like, you know, um, this video is a continuation of this. Okay. Um, I believe this had to be when I was coming back from school, right? Yeah. So it it'll record, you know, whatever, whatever you want. Mm, no, this wasn't when I was coming back from school. This is when I went to Walmart. But uh, yeah, so this was like less than uh, half an hour ago, actually. Yeah, so I was coming home, I had to go drop off one of my friends, uh, yeah, this is it. So I had to go up the block, up and around, and then I'm going to run into that light. So it's going to stop here, and this is the next clip, so there's no, like, break. I mean, there's obviously a break, but it's not a big break where, like, you don't catch a couple of, you know, blocks worth of footage where you're missing. That's not the case.
That's it. And that's where my car is right now. So, there it is. I mean, it obviously works, but, um, you know, that's how I have mine set up. And, I mean, I don't know how helpful this video is going to be, because I pretty much suck at making videos, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, and, uh, you know, I probably should probably put this back. Hang on. See what it is. I, I need to get a bigger SD card. This is... Yeah, this is only 8 gigs, so, you know, obviously I'm not gonna catch a lot of footage because it records in, um, 1080p, um, so it's, like, really high-quality footage. I think it's, like, 60 frames a second or something like that. 60, no, it's 30 frames a second, um, for 1080p. I have to look, I'm not like, I'm not 100% sure, but, you know, the best part is, so like, they have a, they have LEDs here, on the, on the camera, so, uh, if it's recording and stuff like that, like, you know, you know, obviously, like, it's not, it's not apparent to a point where, like, it's distracting, but, you know, if it's not, if it's dark, and the cabin, and, you know, if you, if it's recording, like, you'll see the red light flashing. How do I do this? You see, I could, I could do an oil filter housing gasket. I could do all this other crazy stuff, but popping a panel back into place, I have a hard time with this. Yeah. That's not so much. But, in any case, um, that's my setup. Uh, I hope this video wasn't too annoying, because I know I do a lot of talking, but... If anybody needs a, a walkthrough on how to do it or um, any of that good stuff, let me know and uh, I'll try to help out with uh, whatever I can. And, uh, yep. <laughs>